The point of this video is not to sell MIT or bash on Harvard because it's obviously one of the best universities on the planet right now. This video is more to just show you what I do on a day-to-day -day basis and give you some insight as to why I chose this school to begin with when I committed three years ago. So Tuesdays for me are actually pretty rough. I'm going from 9.30 a.m. to 10 p.m. today. Right now I'm heading with Sebastian over to the shuttle and I'm trying to just make it over to campus. I'll update you along the way. Right now I'm heading to my real-time systems and software class. In this class, we're learning C and we're learning how to integrate those into embedded systems. Today's a lab day, so I think it's actually going to be pretty fun. So when I was visiting the schools that I was accepted to, I wanted to look for a collaborative environment. I knew I wanted to become an aerospace engineer, but I also knew that I wanted to take business classes. And I wanted to do all of this in an environment where I felt like the people around me were my peers and not my competition. So that class was pretty interesting. I got to test out different controllers and see if I can transfer my code into actual hardware movements. Right now I'm heading to my structural mechanics class and it should be fun. So we just got out of our structural mechanics class, or 1620. It was actually pretty interesting. Yes, yeah, so we talked about some like environmental effects on materials, like what happens when you subject them to temperature gradient, to hot and cold temperatures, you know, soak them in acid, water, something like that. Uh, but anyway, so now we're gonna go to the stud, get some food, got class at one. So yeah. pretty chill. Yeah, we're like 30 minutes off right now, so it should be good. Here at MIT, I can be great friends with the people that I'm competing with. Sam, Timmy, and I are all thinking about joining grad school. And here, instead of competing with each other, we're all competing with the rigor of MIT, if that makes sense. Yes, it's hard, but if you have people that you can struggle on the material with, it makes everything go a lot easier. So right now we just finished eating and it was actually a pretty good lunch, a nice quick lunch where we were able to just catch up about the weekend. And right now we're heading to 15401, which is our managerial finance class with Timmy. And um, right now we're just learning about bonds, which should be interesting. In the stillness somewhere above, the city lights you're falling in love, still So Timmy and I just found a room in the econ department and honestly that lecture was getting pretty long so I don't really remember too much from it. Right now we're just trying to relax before our next lecture in about an hour and a half, which should be a good one. And unlike a lot of other schools, when you get into MIT, you get into the entire institution. And you don't even have to declare your major until your sophomore year. You can actually come in a management student at our Sloan School of Management and you can leave an aerospace engineer. Ultimately, different people will fit better into different universities and colleges, that's just a fact. But hopefully thinking about the lifestyle you're trying to have and the ac academic environment that you're trying to have will help shape those decisions for you. Love is
So our entrepreneurial founding and teams class is actually one of our more engaging classes. And today we talked about one of our professor's companies, one that she founded and she just walked us through the process, like the good parts, the bad parts, and it's actually really insightful. Right now we're heading back home. I think I'm gonna go back for dinner, get myself for a basketball game later today because I do have one more class left. So I'll see you on the other side. And when you wake up, you know what you need to do. Just close your eyes. Someone's been waiting for you. Just close your eyes. At this point, you're probably wondering why I have so many classes today. And it's actually because all five of my classes meet on Tuesdays, so Tuesdays are especially rough, but I really don't have classes Monday or Wednesday, so that's good too. At MIT, you still count as a full-time registered student with three classes, and I've taken three classes in a semester in the past. So taking five classes is a bit challenging, but as long as you really manage your time well, I think it's really doable. All of my classes aren't really back to back to back to back. There's occasional 30 minute breaks or hour and a half breaks. So there are chances for me to just relax and de-stress and get ready for the next class. And also having Monday and Wednesday off, I'm able to do work for those other classes and I can really just catch up. So I just had dinner and now I'm back on campus. I have my basketball stuff with me because I have a game right at 10 o'clock when this class ends. This next class is called 15373 or Venture Engineering and basically just helps us along the process of forming an idea for a startup. It's pretty interesting. So we just got out of 15373, which is our Venture Engineering class. How was that, Sebastian? Uh, it was really cool. It was like learning about how um, to make important business decisions and like whether or not we should continue on one track or you know scratch that idea and like implement something else and yeah really useful yeah so now it's pretty late it's like 10 o'clock but Sebastian wants to head to the gym and Ben and I are about to play some basketball So we just got out of our IM games, actually a tough loss. Yeah, um, yeah, a lot of us had a game before, so we were pretty tired, pretty out of shape at the beginning of the season, but you know, we got the guys to make another run next season. Yeah, so now we're trying to get an on-demand safe ride back and probably do some work at the house because there's still a lot of time left, <laughs> despite it being like 11-11. Yeah, that's just the beginning of the night. Some of us haven't started our work yet, but we got it. It's time to get it done. Yeah. <laughs> So I just got back and I'm probably going to just code for the next couple of hours. This is for my real-time systems and software class. So I'm going to end the video here. Yes, MIT is really hard. I'm not going to lie about that. But knowing when to take breaks, knowing when to relax, and also leveraging the fact that you have people around you that care about you, you can actually get through even the toughest of course loads. I'd say really be proactive and make those friends, make those connections because you never know when you need help on a problem set or a project question. And you also don't know when you'll ever need help just staying happy. As for this video, that's all I had to talk about today. If you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to this channel because I have a lot of cool videos coming out. And also DM me on Instagram and Twitter and follow me on those platforms and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. This has been a day in the life of an MIT student, episode five and I'll catch you guys in the next one.